Welcome and or welcome back to Journey to Peace with me. This is my stuffing my wallet video. So I have my wallet here, my sinking funds. I'm introducing for my stuffing videos, my savings challenge container. And then I have my cash here and my cheat sheet. Y'all ready? Let's hop into it. So first things first, I'm gonna take my categories out of my wallet. And if you are new here, I thank you for stopping by. I thank you for clicking on this video. If you're an old time subscriber, I appreciate you for coming back. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the family with us and take the journey. All right, so if you are wondering, um, this is a Louis Vuitton wallet. Yes, it's Louis Vuitton. Yes, I'm on Dave Ramsey plan, but I've explained in other videos why I got it. This is a Zippy organizer. I bought it used and it is, um, I guess, an older model now because newer models don't have this little flap here. All right, so I've taken my categories out. I do this instead of the actual cash envelopes like this because this is easier for me to maintain. Um, the cash envelopes were actually a little bit too cumbersome for me and I did not like the clips either. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do another stuffing video for a little while because I don't know what the banks are gonna do if they're closing as well. Now that everything is pretty much getting shut down. So I might have to figure out how to do one of these videos with um, a digital cash envelope system. I prefer the actual cash though. Let's get started. So first category up is gonna be restaurants. This is for a family of five. So we do $100 for the family, $50 for me to eat out while I am at work. Um, so we will see how this works because of the quarantine. I am still um, in between the office and working remotely. So we'll see how this goes, all right? And if we have any money left, we are on a lofty goal, lofty goal rather, of having some money left over. All right, so we're gonna do 520s, 310s, 1000s, and then 5-1s. This should be $150. Yep, yeah, that's $150. So we're gonna put this here inside the wallet. Oh, and I said I don't know if we're gonna be able to do um, any more of the stuffing videos because I went through the drive-through at the bank. Um, 
you know, I was, I cleaned my hands before I got to the bank. I could see that the teller did the same before touching the money, but the money itself is already nasty. So um, we don't know how long the virus lasts on on the bills or whatever, or it, you know, if it's even on the bills, I don't know. But so long as the bank's open, I'm okay. I'll wash my hands before I touch the money. I'll wash my hands after I touch the money. I'm not touching my face or anything like that. So I think we'll be okay, but um, that's it for right now. Okay, so our next category up is date night. Date night stays in our wallet. And because date night stays in the wallet, we always end up with some money in here. All right, so date night gets $75 every pay period. So that's 150, 120, and 15. So I'm just gonna set it up in here the right way. I'll put that there. Groceries. Family of five, we do a hundred dollars per person. And that is $500 for the month, $250 for the pay period. So we're gonna do two 100s, and that's just for the week. 120 for each week, and then 15 for the week. So it's end up being 125 per week. So that's gonna sit right here inside of my wallet. The next category up is gas. The good thing about this quarantine is um, I still have some gas left over in my tank. I don't know about y'all. And gas is pretty cheap. So um, I'm hoping that since my office is talking about working remotely, when that happens, I won't actually be spending any of my gas money. And that will go toward my car insurance because I, that premium is gonna come out in May. So we'll see you know, how this goes. But typically for my, um, for my gas, I give myself $175 per pay period that at the point that I started this was accounting for three and a half Phillips. Um, and that was at premium gas. Now that I've switched to regular gas, I'm doing a little bit better. So I'm actually end up saving some money per each pay period it's not a ton but it's like $15 10 to $15 per Philip so that's gonna get three fifties 120 and one five and then this is gonna get put into the bank and I use capital one 360 miscellaneous miscellaneous is going to get a hundred dollars and that is going to be three twenties Two tens, three fives, and five ones. And I don't think I'm going to need to spend this money this pay period or um, be able, if even if I do need to, like I want to get my nails done, I'm going to be forced to do that myself because of the quarantine and the social distancing. Um, I want to get my toes done. Again, that's the same thing. Um, I've done my own hair so that I don't have to worry about that. Um, I took care of some personal things in the last pay period with my personal money, so I don't have that to account for um, this time around. So hopefully I have some money left over. Uh, so now we're up to allowance and the built girl is going to get her 20 set aside for her. We'll see if she earns it. The littles are going to get their allowance set aside for them, and that is $10, and they each get five, one five, and then five ones. So we got baby girl, big girl here in the front, and then my son in the back. It's gonna sit like that in the wallet. So next up is going to be Tide, and Tide is gonna get $200. I'm gonna end up having to put this in the bank and do this um, electronically to the church because um, our church services have been canceled right now due to the requirements of less than 10 people together. Um, so next up is going to be aftercare for the littles. 
and this is 150 this aftercare money typically goes to my mother and this is just our love offering for her so it's going to be 150 and then what else is in my wallet is money for my phone bill this is the last phone bill that we are paying for AT&T and that is going to be um, 50 120 and 110 the phone bill was actually hundred dollars a month and I was just budgeting extra the extra is went to whatever we were going to to need it for um, recently we have been spending that on uh, entry into basketball games but because school's out, <laughs> we won't be having basketball games anytime soon. So hopefully this will be another $30 that I can snowball into one of my debts. So I'm just going to put this here in my wallet like so. And then that will be it. Everything is stuffed in here for my wallet. So now we're moving on to... my sinking funds. All right, so we have Big Girl's Aftercare Fund and she gets $150 bill. We're gonna put this here. Um, I don't know how they're going to do that since they're not in school, if they're still going to charge us, but we'll have the money set aside for that. Um, the next category up, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now so I don't forget, is $100 is gonna go into vacation. I've already put the rest of the money into uh, the bank so that it can start earning some interest. $100 is going to go into savings. And then we have uh, gymnastics. Gymnastics is going to get $150, $110, and $15. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to pay for gymnastics for baby girl, um, even though they have also closed the gym. Uh, so we'll see what happens for the next pay period. So then we will have big girl's allowance, or her laptop. So that's gonna get 40 to $5. It's gonna be two 20s and one five. That goes back here now. Oh, let's see how much we have toward her laptop now. So we have, let's put that bag there. So we have one, two, two thirty, two fifty. 270. I think our goal for her laptop was $700, I think. Either six or $700, but we have 270 for right now. All right, so uh, now we're gonna do the rest of the categories in the sinking fund. Let's go ahead and spread this out. All right, so birthday is going to get $17. And Big Girl's birthday is on the 23rd. Then we're going to get $17 is going to go into Christmas. $17 is going to go into car. That's going to be a whole nother video where I talk about the car. Because um, life has been unfair to me recently, um, to say the least. Then we're going to skip over vacation because we already did that. We're going to skip over daddy because that's actually my son. We're going to do $17 into school. $17 into home repair. $17 into the doctor account. 
in $21 into personal. So what I'm going to do this video that I have not done before is I'm actually going to stuff my savings challenge uh, here with my personal money so far because the, the amount is getting up there and I don't want to get to the end of the pay period and not have it because the goal is to save it. So for this pay period, I am supposed to put in $30 into this uh, savings challenge. So I'm going to take the $30 from my miscellaneous fund and in the event that I don't end up using the extra $30 that I allotted um, to the phone bill, then I'll just switch that over to my miscellaneous. So that's that. I'm taking it out right now. And this $30 is going to go into my savings challenge. So if we look at the savings challenge, I can tell you with this $30 how much we have. So we have one, two, five, two hundred and five dollars into the savings challenge. And this is a saving challenge that we've been doing bi weekly since the beginning of the year. Two hundred and five, not bad. All right, so I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, if you found it a little entertaining. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, journey on.